Hi, today we are going to learn multi-value dependency. So multi-value dependency arises when a relation R having a non-atomic attribute is converted to a normalized form. So for example, this is unnormalized table and uh, if we check UID 1, 2, 3 and its name is XYZ but it has opted two course DBMS and TOC. So if we normalize this table into atomic values what we will get the 1, 2, 3 UID has the same name and two different courses. So for 1, 2, 3 UID we have taken two rows. So it is multi-valued of 1, 2, 3 xyz to dbms and second row is 1 2 3 xyz and toc so in the last class we had learned vcnf for this table if we assume there is no functional dependency no functional dependency is there and the key is all attribute So, this table will be in BCNF because all attributes are part of key. So, is this type of design is good or not? So, it is not good because you have found some redundancy in this table. This is very small table. If, for example, there is a 4 UID and for the same name, 6 different courses are there. So, total number of rows will be generated in the normalized form would be a 24, which is used. And there's so many redundancy we will find a repetition of the same UID and same name for the different courses. Now we are going to learn fourth normal form and for that we have to learn multi-value dependency. The fourth normal form can be understood in this way that BCNF, if there is a set of BCNF, the fourth normal form will lie behind in BCNF. And it has more restriction in compared to BCNF. So definition of multi-value dependency is a multi-value dependency is an assertion that two sets of attributes are independent of each other. If in a relation there is a set of attributes that multi-value determine a set of another attribute this is the symbol of multi-value dependency double head we have used holds in relation R if every instance of R for every pair of tuples T and U in R that agree on all A's we can find a tuple V in R that agree on these three conditions both T and U on A's T on the B's and U on all those attribute of R that are not A's and B's. I have taken this reference from Stanford tutorials and uh, if we take the example more simplified form of this relation is for there is a two tuples T and U two rows are there where T of A equal to U of A similar to this one here we can take this T as U because this tuple has same value U, 1 2 3 1 2 3 then for there is some V which hold this condition V of A the left hand side equal to T of A T is left hand side 
and v of b equal to t of v and rest attributes the rest attributes of b equal to rest attributes of u so if this condition holds it mean if functionally determines sorry uh, multi value determines b this is also a tuple generation dependency so this we can understand through the example let's take this is the example of department id department name force and teacher who teaches these courses and there is a relation department id and department name from uh, multi value determine the courses we have to check this is multi value dependency exist or not for that we have to satisfy this relation i have taken this row as a t and this one as a u so did and department id and department name combinedly multi value determine courses so let's check we i put in this way so t of a is mean a is what department id and department name a is what department id and department name and b if a multi value determines b so b is what here course so there should be a from this relation t of a if you uh, equal to u of a it's mean t of a that this attributes is equal to u of a okay so there is some v where v of a equal to t of a the v of a if we check this v of a this is equal to this t of a okay this condition holds and v of b equal to t of b the v of b b is what course so v of b equal to t of b so v of b this course equal to t of v so v of b equal to t of b okay and the last relation is v of rest of attribute equal to u of rest of attributes so v of rest of attribute is teacher that is this one and it should be equivalent to u of rest of it values attributes this is a so it mean department id and department name multi value determine the courses so for every multi value dependency you have to check this relation thank you